Welcome to another lesson in our Industrial Relations series. Today, we are going to look at one of the early theorists on the subject of industrial relations, Mr. John Thomas Dunlop, a labor economist and former United States Secretary of Labor. Back in the late 1950s, Dunlop suggested that the framework for industrial relations is built on the interrelationship of institutions and behaviors, hence the development of the system theory. According to Dunlop, the industrial relations system at any one time comprise of actors, certain contexts, or environmental factors, ideologies that bind the system together, and a web of rules created to govern the actors at work. But what does all this mean? So to get a better understanding, let's explore these features. Dunlop proposed three main actors within the industrial relations system. Management, labor unions, and government. These work in cohesion to create a set of rules in the workplace. Dunlop believed that all these actors have a common set of beliefs, and this is what ties the system together. However, few persons have criticized this view stating that views and beliefs will vary amongst the actors, that is why conflict exists in the industrial relations system. In fact, everyone is motivated differently which can ultimately affect relationships within the workplace. Environmental factors that are significant to the system are determined by society and can be influenced by other subsystems. In other words, the industrial relations system can be impacted by technology, market forces, and how political power is distributed within society. The web of rules tells us quite a lot about the employment relationship in the workplace and exists to govern that relationship. These can be substantive rules which address issues such as wages, hours of work, and other terms and conditions of employment and procedural rules which pertain to discipline, settling disputes, and redundancy. In closing, remember, Dunlop Systems Theory is about the structure and development of relationships among the three key members of labor relations, labor, management, government, and about resolving labor management problems based upon agreement on a common set of beliefs and providing the rules necessary to maintain the relationship despite impacts from other forces that are beyond the party's control on the IR system. For more simple videos, follow the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.